Hi everyone. How are you today? Happy, what day is this? Happy Wednesday. Hi, Lori Jeskowitz here. And I am popping in today because um, I have been talking a lot about this amazing topic. It's been coming up lots and lots. It's, you know, the power of like putting your why um, behind what it is that you're what the, behind what it is that you do. Why do you do what you do? What is that inspiration that is moving through you? What is what is it that you are passionate about? And it isn't even just the passionate about. It's like the why behind it. Like why are you looking to make these changes? Why are you looking to implement this? Why do you want that promotion? Why do you want to make a difference in the world? Why do you want to make that impact? Right? Because what happens along the way is like. It's, it's, it's how, it's how people, how you help people. And it's part of what magnetizes and brings people to you as well. So before I get into all of that, I just want to say, hi, I'm Lori Jeskowitz. I am a money and manifestation coach, and I help women become financially free. This is like my, my, the thing that pulls me out of bed in the morning. The thing that like makes me like keep going when things are working out and when things aren't working out. Right. And it's like all those times, um, this is my why, because there's something that I believe and I'm going to show you in my mug, right? This is my absolute favorite, my Buddha mug. And on the inside you can see, so it says what you imagine you create Buddha, what you think you become, what you feel you attract what you imagine you create Buddha. When I first read and heard people using these words, I was like, what, you know, don't our, doesn't our environment or our circumstances dictate to us, like where we go, where we end up, like what things look like, right? Like I just kind of had the sense of like, we're just dealt the cards that were dealt and just, that's what you do. Like, that's your life. Like, that's your lot, your plot, whatever in life. And you cultivate that little section, right? And, you know, whatever that is, if it's your acre or your half acre, whatever, if it's your 40 by 50 lot, whatever. But when I read those words, I was like, oh, wait a second. It really got me thinking. And it started me on like this quest, this like journey, really, of I can like create the world and the circumstances that I want to see. I can, what I imagine, I have the ability to create. So as I was navigating on my path, like I found like all of these tools, right? Because what the thing was that I was really looking for was financial freedom. That's what I was looking for. The why behind it for me is something that along the journey has like evolved, shifted, grown. And that's what I want to talk about here today, like my why and why it's so important for me and why I'm so passionate about, you might be like, Lori, like, why do you want to help women become financially free? I'm so glad you asked. So here's why. So if you can hear me, go ahead and just like say hi, a little hand wave or throw me a heart just so I can, I have my, I got a new phone, but I'm still wearing my earbuds with my microphone. So I just make sure my hair is off of it. Okay, let's dive in. So my why is... I want to help women become financially free because I am sick and tired of women not having the money that they need to make the change or shifts in their life that they want to make. I am sick and tired of, because this was me, right? Like I couldn't do things that I wanted to do because I didn't have the money to do them, okay? And I couldn't get out of that hamster wheel of, oh, I'd love to do this. And my, my famous line was, okay, I'm going to save the money. And when I have the money saved, I'm going to go do this thing, right? But every time I got the money saved, something else in life popped up, whether it was car repairs, bathroom remodel, like whatever, something was always popping up that I had to take care of first. And it was like, oh, 
it just it's just real like frustrating right and then like out of that come these beliefs of like it's always something or there's like just be thankful you have enough money to take care of it thank god you saved that money thank god you didn't use it to buy that thing you wanted you know even if it was for my own personal growth and development even if it was going to take me to that next level where i could become financially free okay so this is why i'm passionate because i was sick and tired of not having the money and not making enough money that I'd be able to save the amount that I needed, right? Like I would have to, oh my gosh. So, and I talk to women about this all the time. Like this is when like weekly and I, and I'm on the phone with women and they're like, we're talking about like their next level and they're like, oh my gosh, like this would be great. And I don't have the money. And it's like, oh my goodness, right? Like there it is. And it just is that reminder to me that this is why I'm passionate about helping women become financially free. Because here's the thing, when women have money, they make an impact. They put the money into things that are going to change this world for the better. They are going to do the things that help the environment. They are going to do the things, you know, we are going to do the things that are more of a short-term and a long-term commitment. You know, we put, we have like there's just something like loving and nurturing about women that we want to love and nurture on everyone all of those you know all of those places that are near and dear to our heart you know that we want to help and we want to make a difference like how many of you like when you bring your kids to school and you're just like oh my gosh like this room needs to be remodeled i wish i had the money to do that or the kids need cheerleading uniforms because the old ones were just like all like just a hot mess right and they're like oh i wish i had the money where i could just buy them you know we didn't have to fundraise all the time right and or like yeah we could fundraise and you could just write a check you know how many times like do you see you know, a building in your community that you would love to remodel and make it your office or like open your business there, make it your storefront, but you're like, oh, I don't have the money. Or how many times have you said like, oh, I would do that, right? And then that financial pressure is on you to make that difference to like, I got to get this up. And it's like, it's just so much stress, right? And then by the time you launch it, you're exhausted, right? And this is why I, I this is my why behind it because of why I help women become financially free because I am sick and tired of women having to exhaust themselves and settle for less than they deserve. I am sick and tired of women having to make decisions based on if they can afford it or not, not if they would love to have that or not. Like, I just want the decision to be like, do I want this thing? Yes or no. Not like, well, let me pull up my bank account and see if I can, you know, like I want, this is like the kind of financial freedom I'm talking about, like the kind of financial freedom where you just have a 10, 20, 30, $40,000 running bank balance, <sighs> your future planned for you, your 401k, whatever your investments. I want you to have that ability to invest in businesses that align with you as well. Um, where like they value our environment, like where like they are just like these conscious companies that are not polluting everything. Or if they are, they're like taking steps to clean it and prevent that. And I, I know you know what I'm talking about. So it's like being able to invest in those companies and help them because now your money that you're making, you've invested in yourself. Now you've received, you're financially free and you can help another young business grow and develop. Um, and you know, that's how we're going to make this change where women have the money, where women are making this impact in their communities, in their lives, in their families. This is why, you know, I get up in the morning and I'm like, okay, how can I help someone become financially free today? Like, this is why and how, um, you know, I do it like right now, like I, I teach women how to become magnetic, like, you know, you Oh, like women do not make as much money as men. We receive, oh, I just learned this this the last week. We don't get the uh, credit extensions that men do because we make less money, right? So we can have the same debt load as a man and their credit score can be higher than ours, right? It's like, it's not fair, right? We They make more money than us. Like, you know, women, 74 cents on average. So white women, 74 cents on the dollar to for every man's uh, dollar. You know, black women, it's even lower. I think the last statistic I heard on that was 67 cents 
on the dollar compared to a man's one dollar. So every dollar, 67 cents for black women uh, or people of color, uh, women, people, women of color and um, 76 cents for white women. I mean, and so now our credit and our ability to borrow is less. Now our our ability to, um, you know, receive this, like loans is less, right? Because merely because the only freaking reason is because we're female. And like we're in 2021. I am, this is, I am sick and tired. Like we are in 2021 and we are still waiting for like, yes, like there's like a law that says you have to pay women the same that you pay men. Like, and then how are we going to enforce that? How is everyone even going to know if that's actually happening? Right? Like we're not this, we're not going to know. So we need to stop relying on government, your government, our government, the of the who's ever government to say, oh, okay, you are now worthy. And here's this law that says you get to make what men make. No, you get to make what you make. We're not waiting for the government to say it's okay now. We're not waiting for someone else to come along and say it's okay now. You you have this, 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 this isn't a power that is passed on. This is, okay. Now it's a law. Now you have this power. No, you have that power now already within you. That is why I am passionate and what I am passionate about helping women connect to that the ability for you to make money. And you know what? I don't even want to make the same as men. I want to make millions on my own. Maybe you want to make hundreds of thousands, whatever that number is. I don't care. Like you get to pick that number that is aligned for you. What I care about is that you pick it and that you start taking steps to make it happen. And that is where I come in, right? Like this is why I help women become magnetic, right? Like to rip off those beliefs that say, you're a woman, you make less, you're never going to make what they make, what men make, you know, all the things like you can't do that. You know, what happens if you like have a baby and all of these things? Yeah, I know. Like women are typically, you know, the ones that, obviously, cause we carry the children, we have to take time off from work. Right. And like, what if there was a way for you to have a baby, you know, and work from home, right. Or work in your dream business or work virtually. Right. Like when we start opening ourselves up to this other ideas of like other than playing by, you know, I heard the amazing Trudy LeBron say this uh, a few days ago of like where um, people think that like for me to make money. So for Lori J to come up and make money and to make a million dollars that I am taking that million dollars from some other man. (laughs) Like that is not what I'm doing right? Like there is more than enough money in this world for all of us to become billionaires, trillionaires and not run out. Okay. So this isn't about, oh, someone, so-and-so has to make less so that I can make more. No, this isn't it. This is the amount of money that's available to all of us all the time. Okay. So, and the piece that really here, like, and this is like another little tidbit, like I can't remember how many trillions of dollars it was, but they said if women were paid the same amount as men, it would, it would bring in trillions and trillions of dollars into our economy right now. And we would have no deficit. It would just wipe out everything. If women were just paid what men were paid and we could contribute to the economy in that way, people could buy our products, you know, you know, the sales tax in our States, people would tour, you know, tourism to your location. If women would just make the same amount as men. So if it can solve the national debt problem and our economy problems and they're not doing it, Hmm. I, why? Yeah. I don't know the answer to that question, but what I do know the answer to is I'm not waiting around. And, 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 and if you don't want to wait around for someone else to say, it's okay for you to become financially free, then please, we need to talk. <laughs> you need to reach out because you know, this is, this is what I'm talking about and becoming magnetic, right? Like this is my program that it, it's where we take off those beliefs. We strip off all the things that you've ever been told of like, Oh, um, you know, to be wealthy, you need to marry well, or, um, like look, all the options and ideas and suggestions that come into, you know, into play for women or, 
um, well, that's great. You're the breadwinner. What's going to happen when you want to have kids, you know, or um, you better just not get too big of a job because you don't want to make more money than your husband because you don't want him to feel like, you know, less than or anything, you know, but P.S. on the other side of that. So it's okay for you to feel less than. It's like, what? So it's, I know, like these are the things that like run silently, these beliefs, these stories, these words, these thoughts that we have, right? And it's like, they are getting in between you and becoming financially free. They are coming between you and your dreams, your goals, your desires, those 10, 20, 30, $40,000 uh, a month bank balances, whatever it is. We start to you know, in, in the program, in the eight weeks, we start to uncover those beliefs. We start to, you know, get clear on what it is that you want, create that vision, set those goals, get clear about them and how to activate the magnet that is within you, your alignment, you know, those, the, the, the pole that is within you, your intuition, all of those feminine goddess gifts that you have that you've been told are like woo woo and they're not real and you can't trust that. The only thing you could trust is your brain. And I'm like, no, like your brain is a tool and, but your body is actually the one that's bringing you all the places. Okay. So yes, our brain is beautiful. We love it. It's, it's helping us. It's bringing us, it, it helps do the things, but our body is what's actually leading us. And when we come back into connection with that embodiment and we embody what this is, you know, the, the ways, the ideas, the people, the situations, the relationships that don't even like make sense that you just get reached out to out of the blue, like this whole Facebook live came to me in the shower, right? Like, I should probably share my why I haven't done that in a while, you know, and here we are. And then like this whole inspiration comes through of like why I'm so passionate about it and I want to help you reach that thing that you are passionate about. Like, what's that why behind that thing that you are, you know, trying to get out into the world? What is that thing? You know, is it going back to work? Is it, you know, working from home? Is it opening up that business? Do you want to get out of your house and work? You know, it's a total thing too. Like, you might be like, Lori, my house is a madhouse. I need to get out of here. <laughs> so it's totally cool. I love that. You know, we all need our space and what I really love about that is that's the case in home, out of the home, whatever is aligned with you. And that is how we really activate, activate that magnet. The more you align with yourself, the more you draw in the people, places, situations, circumstances, relationships, money that you need on your journey to bring that to you. And it's like amazing all the things that show up. Like I've had people just like, um, all of a sudden I'll just see something on Facebook or on Instagram, or it'll just be like a note. will just, Oh, this just happened. Let's go with this one. So I just had a post-it note on my desk from, it had to be like four or five months ago, or maybe not that long, but it was, it was a while ago. And I made this note to myself to add something to my program. Right. And so, um, it was this beautiful quote and it was, um, it was from A Course in Miracles, and I cannot remember it right now, but it was this beautiful quote, and all of a sudden, it just floated down and landed next to me, and I picked it up, and I'm like, oh, I'm working on my program right now. This needs to go in that module, and I plopped it in. It's like those, like magnetizing, like when you don't know like the words to say, to share. That is um, where so, so much of this comes from, you know, and money. Like I've had times of like just logging into my bank account and there's an extra $4,300 in my business checking. And it's like, are you kidding me? Like, this is like when, you know, especially if you've got like the money that you need for something and then that money drops in, it's just, it's amazing. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm picking up my mug here again, because this is like what you think about, you become what you feel, you attract, what you imagine you create what you think about you become Buddha. So as we step into this empowered space of like, who do you want to become? Who do you get to become? What are the, like, what's the why behind that? Like, let's, you know, let's get into what is that driving force, that motivating force that is just like, it won't go away, right? Like this idea came one day and it just like keeps bubbling it back up. It keeps bubbling back up. And if that's happening and you're seeing this video, oh my gosh, please like message me, reach out. Like 
we need to talk <laughs> because it's like, this is one of those like serendipitous moments of like what you're asking for is actually showing up. It's like, this is like how we activate that magnet, right? Of as you activate it, the videos, the people, the resources pop and drop in for you. So this is my why behind why I help women become financially free because I'm over waiting for the government to say that I am now worthy and able to make X amount of dollars or to make the same as a man or to make the same as anybody. I don't want to make the same as anybody. I want to make more, you know, I want to make an impact. I want to help change the world and make it, you know, an amazing place for everyone, right? Of where it's, it's equitable, it's inclusive, it's just everyone is just has like amazing opportunities and it's like you don't need to wait for someone to give them to you what this is is you get to align with that energy that's within you and then all of the magic gets to show up and this isn't ignoring what's all around you you know and the and it might be hard and it might be frustrating and you might be in a really you know, low place, you know, with your circumstances or your situation. And I just, I want to share something with you that someone shared with me a while ago. And it was, you can empower yourself. What can you do to empower yourself? It's not so much like fix the situation that's around you. Sometimes that's out of our control and out of our power, but how can you empower yourself to take the next right step for you? What would that look like you know, just one next right step for you. And then like, what is one baby step you could take towards it? Because for me, it was finding it for me. It was like, I got to Google when empowered is because <laughs> this was a while ago. Right. And it's that power within you. Like that is where your power is. You cannot wait for someone else to give it to you. You get to give it to you. And it was in that realization of like, nobody's taking anything from me, right? Like they might be trying to like, but they can only take what I allow them to take. I, they can only take what I give to them. And that was a huge realization. And it didn't seem like that that's what I was doing. But once I came and led from within of like, no, this is how I am choosing to show up. This is how I want to live. This is you know, I am making these choices. I am driving. I am the driver of this vehicle on this journey in life, on this road trip, right? Like I just, you know, I am the one that's in charge. Once I started to just, and it wasn't overnight, it, it was little baby steps all along the way of empowering from within. What might just one step be? For me, it was go home and Google empowered, what that meant for me from within. And it meant for me of, because, you know, what we're doing is we're becoming magnetic and we're magnetizing ourselves when the thoughts would run through. And this is what I teach in my program as well. When the thoughts would pop up of all the shit, right? That is when I would choose my own reaction of like, yes, like this is happening. This is here. This, I, this isn't cool. And I am opening myself up to creative possibilities and magical opportunities. I am calling in a different a different outcome. And that is when things started to shift. That is where that power was. So I am done waiting for anyone to say, okay, it's okay for you to make, you know, and to be paid, you know, um, the same wage as men. I am done with that. I am like here to help women who are also like, I am so done giving my power away to, corporations, that boss that's holding that promotion like a carrot and just like as you get closer, it just pulls it further and further from you, right? And now you're doing more work and more work and more work and you're working harder and longer and it's like that carrot, that carrot. It's just, no, you are not a rabbit. No, you are an amazing, beautiful woman who has innate natural gifts and talents within. Let's dive in activate that inner magnet that you have and let's find out what it's trying to tell you. All right. If this aligns. If this is resonating with you, please reach out, message me because I want to help you become financially free. All right. Bye.